Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Libra July 3, 2022. Frustrations with others could run high, and resentful feelings can emerge, with Mars and Pluto forming a square today. You may have felt someone is more often putting their agendas over yours. Consider that impulsiveness and impatience can be problematic right now. It's possible you feel torn between the wants and needs of others and your own feelings and fears. If you've been holding on too tightly to a situation, it's time to try to ease off and release some pressure. You'll be in the best shape if you take time to relax, center yourself, and pursue your ambitions later. If you have too much going on in all areas of your life, you'll feel the imbalance more acutely now, prompting the need to pare things down. It's a good time to let go of something negative or useless in your life. Although you generally understand that all life is one, you may feel that the planetary energy is somehow encouraging you to take this much further. While your latest sweetheart may wish for nothing more than to take a walk with you somewhere peaceful and tranquil, you prefer today to sit in on the latest metaphysical discussion about soul mates and the mystical aspects of true love. What is your work-life balance like? There could be an ongoing power struggle between your personal and professional commitments that come to a head as Mars in Aries squares Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. Intensity is brewing, especially if you have personal matters with your home and family to attend to before getting to your professional obligations. You might feel particularly short-tempered during the square as if you have been backed in the corner. Instead of feeling disempowered, focus on what needs to be accomplished first while setting boundaries with your professional and private relationships. You may have noticed that you have changed your philosophy about life. You just don't think about things the way you did before. The things that used to be very important to you just don't carry weight the same weight they used to. You seem to judge everything on a different basis now, so take advantage of today to make some new choices based on this new vision of life. Relations and friends are having a hard time with you and vice versa. Put an end to this mutual feeling of frustration, be honest with yourself and consider compromising on some points. Talking to people to clear things up is also a big help. Regard today's negative atmosphere as an opportunity to resolve conflicts permanently. It's okay to go against your nature every now and then. In fact, you should do it more often. Indulge in a little wicked and selfish behavior, and don't freak out if anyone notices. Whatever you try to achieve is criticized and unlikely to be accepted in a very favorable way, especially if you feel undue pressure to perform any kind of activity. It is far better to delay important activities or decisions until you feel positive about the outcome. Use your sense of humor to relieve any tension. A good tactic today would be to convert your fears into motivation for positive action. There is a great deal of energy at your disposal, so don't waste it. Be aware that it is one of those situations when the smallest comment or insult may set off a huge chain reaction of misinformation or battles. People are emotionally charged, so be careful where you step. The energy from this day's vibration of your own can bring you down if you aren't mindful. Yours is a contemplative nature, and the added energy is sure to enhance your awareness of yourself, as well as your perception of the world around you. Any humanitarian qualities you have will be intensified. Even the news can get to you today. Strive to see the good and positive things that are happening around you. Don't take it all so seriously that it makes you blue. Having the moon not only in your friendship sector but at a friendly aspect to Mars in his last weekend in your relationship sector is having positive short and long-term implications. In the short term, this is creating positive conditions for friendship and relationship building while boosting your confidence and energy. However, while the moon and Mars will be gone within days, this is a taste of what will continue to evolve on both fronts. Just as Mars is spending his last weekend in your relationship sector, a friendly aspect to the moon in your friendship sector is not only creating a boost in confidence but a chance to become more emotionally engaged. While this is creating positive conditions for friendship and relationship building this is also a taste of things to come, with the journey continuing long after Mars leaves.
Our eyes in the sky. Today is a wonderful time to heal the subconscious and heart. We all have trauma and wounds that we've pushed to the bottom of our consciousness, but now the emotions around the pain are coming into focus. Chiron is a smaller celestial body originally classified as a centaur because of its location and an asteroid because of its mass. Wounded healer Chiron, currently in Aries, aspects Venus in Leo this afternoon. During this time, you'll be able to take a deep look at your recent hurts and see how you can change them. Issues with confidence and self-esteem could come into focus. Mercury in Gemini also shares a minor aspect with Chiron today. This planetary connection gives us the chance to look within and fix recently repressed issues or feelings we've had to suppress and not deal with. Discussing your feelings with others can be healing and invigorating. This energy is more appropriate than ever because we've all been holding in tears, emotions, and uncertainties that need to be released. The upcoming new moon in Leo will bring our emotions out into the open. Is danger lurking around the corner as a hot new month begins? If today's shadowy Mars-Pluto square has anything to say about it, that's a big, fat cosmic yes. With intense Mars traveling alongside reckless Aries, one of the signs it rules, it gains, what not to do, steam as it bulldozes its way through the universe. As intense Mars squares off with mysterious, death-obsessed Pluto in Sirius Earth sign Capricorn, it's no surprise that there's a lot of tension in the air. It's hard to tell what anyone around you might do next, and you aren't even all that sure about your own intentions or motivations and why they lead you to act in a certain completely uncharacteristic way. Power struggles prevail at work and at home, and your frustrations could even result in actual physical altercations today. Even the calmest of signs can be driven over the edge as you find yourself in places you never dreamed you'd be when you woke up this morning. In the pre-dawn hours, the moon's sextal to Mars offers us playful energy. We want to demonstrate our intelligence under the Leo moon, while Mars in Leo stimulates a competitive streak that is optimal for light-hearted games and trivia. The sextal aspect softens our need to win and prevents us from becoming sore losers. We would rather share others' company and have fun, instead of beat the competition and wind up by our lonesome. Additionally, this aspect isn't half bad for forming romantic connections, and even though it perfects before the start of the day, we will feel buoyed by courageous and aspirational feelings into the morning. Afternoon, Venus in Leo creates a trine to Chiron in Aries, helping to heal our hearts. We see past romantic disappointments for lessons learned, and commit to being mindful of our attractions to similar personality types who leave us feeling insecure in love. After a hard fall in romance, we tend to wall ourselves off to prevent further pain. There is a time and a place for seclusion, sheltering, and coming back to oneself, as there is a time and place for embracing vulnerability and allowing others to have access to us. This influence offers us the gift of surrender. Acknowledge that you have moved through a dark night of the soul, and because of this, you are again prepared to seek soul-stimulating relationships.